Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Bailey and today I'm going to be taking you guys along for my book shopping day. So I don't really have like anything specific in mind that I want to get but I haven't been to most of these stores before or probably like little over half I haven't been to before so I kind of just wanted to explore the local bookstores. Some of them are chains like Barnes and Noble and then there's this place called Mr. K's used books and more they have some of those like around South Carolina so going to that and then a few other ones are like independent bookshops and so I'm really excited like I said I don't have anything specific that I want to get but I just kind of want to browse around and look and see and I feel like also sometimes just going into bookstores even if you don't end up buying a book you can find a book that you want to read you know by reading the back of it or whatever so the first place that I'm gonna go is of course the most basic Barnes and Noble but I haven't been in a really long time and I just want to go and see and my husband and I whenever we go together we always look at the Harry Potter section so I'm definitely gonna be doing that and also just like looking at new books that they have or ones that I know of and like the accessories and everything like that so that's the plan and that's where I'm gonna go first we'll be able to see if it's true wish McGonagall favored us said Harry Just finished in Barnes and Noble and I'm sad because I was going to go next to this store that's on the same road as Barnes and Noble and it's like a resale store I guess they get books like used books from the local library and then they sell them I was looking up on Google to see where it is and people had given it great reviews but then the latest review said that she was sad that it was closing because she loves the deals and like the treasure hunt aspect of it and the people responded and they're like after 20 years of our store we decided to vacate the premises and close so that's really sad but it's okay because I have more stores to go to so next I'm going to go to an independent bookstore it's like eight minutes away I've never been here so I'm excited for it Okay, so I'm now at a new bookstore. That last one was cute and it was really small and I wasn't sure if it was just a local place, but I think it definitely was because it had this sign on the front that said shop local, which is so cute. But it was the type of experience where you walk in and it's completely quiet and 
you're the only person in there and so i just felt so bad i always feel so bad when i do that and then i didn't get anything from that place because it was more expensive than your typical bookstore which i totally understand i want to support small businesses but i just didn't want to pay 25 dollars for a book today so anyway that was kind of weird but it was cute and it's just good to know it's there so now i'm at another bookstore this is a really big store and i don't know if this is a chain or not but it is like a resale store with used books they also have new books too so i'm not quite sure how it works but i think you can trade books and stuff like that and like you know give them your used books i don't know if it's like a plato's closet for books it kind of seems like that but also they have a bunch of new ones too and they have like a bunch of accessories and just random stuff so I'm excited for this one because it's huge I'm probably going to be in there for a while looking through all of their books Okay, so I'm done with the last store. So I didn't tell you guys that I was going from the like Plato's Closet style bookstore to this one, but this one's called Mr. Casey's Books, CDs, DVDs, and more. And it's also similar to the Plato's Closet style, how you can trade your books, you can sell your books to them, and they sell used books. And I think that this one sells new books as well. I'm not 100% sure because like some of them look brand new. Most of them are marked down because they're used books anywhere from like $2 to eight dollars somewhere around there so i did end up getting a book from that one and then also i was gonna get a book from there's the same book that i've almost bought all all three stores or all four stores i decided to look up online real quick you know just is that the cheapest price you know what's the cheapest price it was a lot cheaper somewhere else like seven dollars less so I did an online order because it was only, it was going to be $17, but then it was only $10 if I did the online order. And so I did an order online and now I'm just waiting to pick it up. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is until I have it. That's the next thing on the agenda. I don't know when it's supposed to be done though, like when it's, when I'm supposed to pick it up. So I will keep you guys updated, but right now it is 1:21, and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to go ahead and go home and eat some lunch. And then the place that I'm picking it up from is really close to where I go to the gym. So I might just try to do both at the same time. And then I'll show you guys what that book is and then what the book that I just got is. 
Okay, it's a few days later now. I went book shopping on Monday. Today's Thursday. Like I said, there was one book that I was planning on getting, or I really wanted it, and it was around like 20 to 25 dollars, just depending on the store that I was in. So I decided to just look up online, you know, like is there anywhere that has this cheaper? I found a place that had it cheaper. It was only 10 dollars, and if I ordered it online for pickup, then it said that that was the only way I could get it for $10. Other than that, it was going to be like $17 in store. So of course, I'm going to do the pickup. Well, I get an email later that day that basically says they didn't have it in stock anymore, and it gave me the option to either pick it up from a different store or get it shipped to me for free. The only reason that it was free shipping was because of the mess up on their end. So of course, I did the free shipping, and it finally got here today just now. So I'm going to open it, but First, before I do that one, because I feel like that's a more exciting book, I'm going to show you guys the book that I got from one of the other stores. So this is called The Cottage on Rose Lane. And here's what it looks like. Super cute and just like cottage core cozy vibes i think the cover is so adorable this was only two dollars and fifty cents and i read the back of it and it sounded super cute and it's also like based in south carolina which is where i live so i love that i looked up on goodreads and there was like one review that just sold me she was like this is the best summertime read it's just so cute all the summertime vibes which is what i love so this is about a girl named jenna and she finds out about this inheritance that she didn't know she had i think it's this little cottage that she's inheriting and it's in South Carolina in a cute little town and she meets this guy who's her sailing instructor and he can he like knows about her family and she's really curious about her family because she didn't even know she had this family that she inherited this from and so he has a lot of answers to the questions that she's looking for but I think there's just a lot of like mystery in there about her family and everything and it says that he knows that she deserves the truth but can he help her discover it without losing her and the family he's come to think of as his own. So I'm super excited for this because it just looks so adorable and honestly I feel like the cover itself sold me. So now for the more exciting book probably of the two and of course this could only be from Target. And I feel kind of bad because I was talking to my husband about like how I could have bought this from like a local store, local bookstore, or even one of like the smaller chains to support them. But I'm just all about saving money. And when I was going to save like $15 on this, I, I just had to get it from Target. And with free shipping, I mean, it was literally like $10 or $70 or something like that. I'm really excited about this and you can probably guess what it is okay reveal it's the first book in the Akatar series Court of Thorns and Roses I've heard about this so many times recently the first time was a few months ago a friend who one of my is one of my photographer friends was shooting a wedding with me and she told me all about this and then after that I felt like I was hearing about it Every single time I was on social media, I was reading about it, someone was reading it, someone was talking about it on their YouTube. So I decided to get it and I'm so excited to read this because I also like have never really read fantasy other than like Harry Potter. And I absolutely love Harry Potter. If you've stuck around on my channel, or if you've watched any of my other videos, I've probably mentioned Harry Potter. I'm currently listening to the audiobooks again, which I'm absolutely loving. But aside from that, I don't think I've ever read like another fantasy book. So I'm excited for this series. The series looks super long. Like this book doesn't look very big. It's like 400, a little over 400 pages. But some of the books look super long. And that kind of scares me because I'm so used to reading like 300 page books. But anyway, super excited for this. And this was, like I said, $10. This was $2.50. That's the beauty of book resale stores, which I just appreciate so much. So... These are the two books that I got. So excited to read these. I might wait till summer to read this or a little closer to summer just so I can get like the summertime spirit, summertime vibes. Because if I feel like if I read it now, I would just be longing for that because it's so cold. I had to walk to get the package from our mailbox. And since we live in an apartment, it's like all in one spot where everyone's mailbox is. 
and it was just so freezing so I might hold off on this one but I'm probably gonna start reading this one soon I think I might do a reading vlog of it just because I think that would be fun my first time reading it so anyway that is what I got thank you guys so much for watching this bookstore vlog I hope that you enjoyed it and maybe it'll inspire you to go pick up a book this week or Go to your local bookstore, resale store, whatever, local thrift store to find some books that are used but still valuable because I think it's so cool. I talked about this in my book thrifting video. I love how like you can see the lines on this book and you can kind of tell like this book has been loved and it's been read and I just think that's so neat to be able to see that. So hopefully I'll make some lines on this book and be able to share it with some friends too so anyway thank you guys so much for watching go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you aren't already i'm so appreciative of you guys watching and i cannot wait to see you guys next time bye